Got a very uh, nice view of the table. And uh, I know we're getting close. Let me see if I can move this down a little bit here. And Gingerbread Man is back in uh, California now, and, uh, well, he's in California. We didn't have an opportunity to really get together, but maybe uh, maybe next time. Sponsored by Shirts Custom Cues, Magoo, Magoo's Bar and Grill, and Jack Justice Cases from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Let's hear it for Gabe Owen. Not yet. His opponent is sponsored by On the Rail TV, Diamond Billiards, Capone's Billiards, and the Action Report. This gentleman is a former U.S. Open One Pocket Champion. He's a former Legends of One Pocket Champion. He's been the runner-up in the One Pocket Division at the Derby City Classic. Feared around the country for his prowess in One Pocket. Please welcome from Phoenix, Arizona, the freezer, Scott Frost. <laughs> Gentlemen, please lag for the break. And we're going to turn it over to the booth to, to Joey A. and Danny Harriman. Thank you, Ken. This is the crossroads of pocket billiards. And the lag for the break is in place. It looks like, it looks uh, like that practice lag paid off. <laughs> Fro he froze the ball. The ball's frozen. It, that's fantastic. He, he couldn't even do that in practice. Wow, and I really do believe the five might have froze to the rail there. I think it did too, Danny. I was looking at it, uh, and what it looked lag? like it just crushed right up against the rail. Orange crush. That's it. Now well, let's see if he can keep that nice uh, roll moving along here. Yeah, psychopath. Thanks uh, very much for the nice compliments. Mm, okay. Open and break. It looks to me like uh, Joey, like uh, he, Gabe has a bank on the four ball here. Yeah, I think he does. I mean, he's almost forced to take it. It looks like it's a, just a simple straight bank. I mean, it's looked like it's made made for the shot. Uh, you got it. Good shot. Oh my, 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 my throat's tightening up already. <laughs> No, I've got, I've got faith. This is, this is going to be a good match. I can't see if the two ball will clear or not, but uh, will we go three rails or just one? Ah. It must go. It goes, and uh, this is, I believe, where a straight pull player has a little bit of an advantage here, going into the rack. That's just my. How, how, how would, how would he shoot this two ball if he's a straight pull player and he wanted to move these balls out? Well, you know, I. I think I think high left is the way to go, and you got to try to push through the six and the ten here, and just hope you can get a shot on the ten or the five. Mm -hmm. But it's funny; it's just uncanny how straight pull players come up with a shot there, 
uh, more often than just say someone who plays nine ball or one pocket. Mm -hmm. They just seem well, to be experts at going into the rack. They well, really do. They're, they're constantly looking at the rack and looking right. for combinations and caroms and things like that. So uh, right. I, I can imagine, you know, if you play that game on a regular basis, uh, it can affect a game, uh, you know, one pocket game or eight ball or any other game for that matter. Oh, yeah. Well, and there's the aggressive Gabe starting out. Running the ball, shooting combos, good, and what he looks, uh, he made a nice combo there. What happened to, you know, conservative Gabe? Mm, he's uh, not always conservative. He, yeah. He, he's, uh, I mean, he's running out. Yeah. The guy's got four balls, four to nothing, and uh, he's got uh, four more that he's looking at right now. He's trying to decide whether he wants to pick up the 15 or the 13. Looks like he's going to the 13. Oh, he's got it on the rail. Uh, he didn't like that. Yeah, no, the, the table is a little is hot, you know, from the lights. And so I think it will speed the cloth up just a little bit uh, in some ways, and you know. He's going to try and go between the nine and the five, do you think? No? Yeah, he tried. Okay, good tried. try. So this will be an interesting game because, uh, oh, wait a minute, the three ball. I did not see the three. Yeah. Well, if the three goes, then this could be a real quick game. Well, uh, I think uh, the only problem is, uh, how's he going to get on the five? Is he, can he hold the cue ball for the five here? Easy. Okay. Yes, you're right. He can. So three, six, eight. This is the ball he needs, and he's run eight and out from the break. Well, Started with a short rail bank, and that was it. You sure that's not Scott Frost? <laughs> hey, that's the guy that's going to win me breakfast. Oh, baby. <laughs> How sweet it is. Life is good. Life is good. There you go. Yeah. Game one goes to Big Bird. Yeah, we've already got uh, over 1,800 hits. Uh, well, close to 1,800. 1,780 hits uh, from the internet viewers uh, in just the few minutes that we've been on we haven't even we've we've played maybe one of the fastest games of one pocket uh, in the whole tournament and uh, you know it's actually just two innings one inning per player and uh, you think uh, one pockets uh, like watching paint dry you check out these guys and you'll see that that's not always the case Notice that Gabe is left eye dominant. He's got the cue. He's got the cue. He lines the cue up over his over his left eye, which is and and he's right handed. He's right handed, mm -hmm. but that certainly doesn't mean uh, my, my, myself. I'm right eye dominant, and uh, I'm right handed. But there's been many great players like Gabe uh, that are left eye dominant. Sean Putnam and I were talking about that the other day, and he said that. He thought I was left eye dominant, but I'm actually right eye dominant. But mm -hmm. it's kind of unusual to see that. Yeah, th th there seem to be uh, less players um, that are, I'll, I'll call it, opposite uh, eye dominant. You know, if they're right-handed, they're right. left eye dominant. There are less uh, players uh, of of that nature than they are. You know, if they're left-handed, they're left eye dominant normally. Uh, if they're right-handed, they're normally right eye dominant. So. Uh, and then uh, there, there are some people that say that, uh, you know, they're, they're, they, they, they don't have a dominant eye. Right, middle eye, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, here comes the freezer shooting some aggressive shots. And I think that's a good shot. No. I don't think Gabe has anything here that, um, you know, I kind of like banking the deuce here. I don't know. Well, maybe can he bank the 11 here? I'll tell you what, I would bank that two ball into the stack. That's what I'm you looking know, at, banking yeah. in the stack. Mm-hmm, two rails. Oh, yeah, uh -oh. I wouldn't have gone for that. Uh-oh. Look at this. That's a little weakness from uh, from Gabe there. Uh, one weak shot. Uh, that's a little uncharacteristic from Gabe. Well, he came off that fast uh, win of that first game, and, uh, you know, he's rolling kind of quick, so... I think he uh, kind of rushed his shot and the thought process that goes with it. Yeah, yeah, he didn't really look like he took his time too good there. Um, 
You could you know, have these players have got to be worn out uh, mentally. They've been playing pool all day, and and uh, so you know they they may be a little mentally exhausted. But I, I'd still sometimes you play real well. Have you ever noticed that when you're tired and you you can just kind of sometimes that counteracts and works to your advantage when you're yeah. tired. Kind of kind of kind of relaxes you, and uh, you right. know you're not jumping up. Uh, you know you're so tired that. You, stay down and, right. you know, a lot of good things do happen when you stay down on the ball. You know, uh, Danny, uh, one of the things that uh, I do with all of my uh, co-commentators that get in the booth with me, especially the professional players like yourself, is I always um, I, tr I try to weasel some really high-end pool tips uh, from them for our Internet viewing audience. So from time to time... We'll be checking into the chat room to look at some of the questions that some of the uh, audience has and uh, possibly get you to answer. We won't ask you to give up all of your secrets, but uh, from time to time we'd like to know some of the special things that uh, you do uh, when you're playing uh, pool and on certain shots. You game for that? Oh, sure. Why not? All right. Right now, the score is 3-0 to zero in this game. Gabe Owen leads the match 1-0. to zero. It's a race to five. The game is one pocket. Oh, wow. Another mistake. My, my. Well, this is unusual. I can, I can smell those ham and eggs already. Yeah, right. <laughs> One thing I've noticed, if he's cutting this 14 ball in and, and under these lights, it seems like there's more, uh, or less friction rather. And uh, when you use an outside English, it seems like the cue ball will have a tendency to deflect a little bit more under under these lights. It, it dries everything out. It dries the table out and it kind of, it. Uh, if you're not used to the, you know, if you're using outside English, you have to overcut them just a little bit more because the table's dry. And oh, yeah, that's a great tip for you, Internet audience. Yeah, you gave that up without me prying it loose. That's nice. So you're saying that when the tables are really dry, that uh, when you use side spin, the cue ball will deflect more. Is that right? It will. It okay. Sure will. Excellent. Yeah. yeah, that's an excellent tip for anyone to pay attention to and. You know, we've got uh, so much humidity down there in Louisiana where we're from that uh, we hardly ever have to worry about uh, uh, dry tables. Right, yeah. And where Scott's from, uh, just the opposite. Scott has a very dry environment to play on in, in Arizona, so uh, he might, that might play to his advantage, Joey. That's a good point. Yeah. That's a good point. Uh, and I believe uh, Scott just won that game. Sure did. Pretty quick, too. I'll tell you what, this is a record-breaking pace here. I think people were uh, complaining and saying, well, you know, this is going to take a long time. But, wow, two games already, one to one, racing to five. Yeah, you know, I, I think that boils down to your love of the game. I used to watch uh, Steve Cook play in uh, one pocket when I was younger, and uh, he was a a slower pace player, much slower pace than, than either one of these two gentlemen here. And uh, But I really, even though he did play so slow, I really enjoyed the way he played and watching him play. And uh, I think that's really where a person's patience and, and, and really love for the game comes in. Is you know, If you can sit there and watch someone who plays really slow, like uh, not really slow, but slower, you know, Nick Varner plays a lot slower than either one of these two players. That's right. And so did Steve Cook, mm -hmm. and uh, the Cookie Monster. And, and they were great players. Uh-oh. One slip, slipped out on him there. My, my. Well, the match has changed momentum here. Um... He, he made it that this table so quick uh, it's not going to stop at that hole unless he hits the rail. I don't know if he
he's going to go up for the five ball or try the combo next. Try the five and bump the stack a little bit. No, he's just going to go for a little bang. Now, that's a nice shot. Uh, Y'all might want to check that uh, DVD and look at that shot again and how these balls are set up. Scott chooses to bank the ball instead of, you know, uh, uh, trying a little combo. Goes to the table and picks up a couple more. He seems very loose, you know, and, and his play is fluid and, and uh, that... And he is left-handed and left-eye dominant, definitely. You know, if you get a bird's-eye view of his cue, it's, you know, it, uh, it's right underneath his left eye, the, the cue itself. So, well, this pace will definitely play favor for Scott, you know, uh, I believe, you know, Joey. Yeah, that's right. I think uh, Gabe, if he wants to, you know, stay, uh, if, if he wants to win this match, he's going to have to slow this game down. And, yeah. You know, occasionally players will do that. Uh, they'll start uh, playing a little nip and tuck uh, Chicago style uh, uh, one pocket. All right. Just like that, uh, the score is two to one in favor of Scott Frost. But the freezer. And he's given, uh, he's providing a cold snap to Gabe the Babe right now. Well, you know, who, who has the break? Is Gabe racking their own, aren't they? Okay. That's right. So Gabe has the break. Yeah. Big Bird. Don't know how he got that name, but... Big fellow. Yeah, he is. He's about 6'3", six, 6'4". Six, that's a nice little break there. Okay, yeah, that's aggressive. Well, break. I think the... Is the 8 out far enough? Uh, you know, I, I don't really... It might be uh, playing this fellow, but I don't think so. I think the eight sitting. It's a, it's definitely a, something to look at. When you have the firepower that these gentlemen have. Oh, look here, an Efren shot maybe. No, okay. I see what he's doing. Very good. Well, he went all the way to the side rail. Yeah. That's nice cue ball control there. Yep. Well, this will be a. I think this is going to be a slower game, Joey. I don't think we're going to see a lot of. Uh, Johnny Archer, your opponent, is still playing a match on this side, uh, on the amateur side. That's why he's not there. Uh, just stand by for us. We'll get to you and let you know what we're The do. score is two to one now, right? Danny? Two to one. Two to one. Correct. He's going to really want to hit that thin. Okay. Well, he has left shot, Scott a, a shot on the eight here. I don't think uh, Scott's going to take it. No, I don't think so either. Gabe, I think, really knows the game, and I know some of the people that have coached Gabe, and and I know, and they were they were great players. A lot of great one pocket players living around Oklahoma and in that Tulsa area. Um, James Walden. Walden and Bobby Baldwin and um, just a lot of great golf players. They, they used to have a real big golf game there at the Billiard Palace. And I think now the play is in Magoo's. That's maybe one of Gabe's sponsors, Magoo's, you know. Mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. uh, they're fixing to have a... Oh, look at this. Now, this is a very aggressive. Now, see, I think that may be a little too explosive. I don't know what he was really... Well, He's maybe... Wild there. Um, now that's the one thing. I, that's the one thing I I, I think it's going to separate these two players. If if those wild explosive shots work, then I think it's going to favor Scott. But you're not you're not going to see Gabe get too wild. Now, I, I guarantee you that. I mean he's going to he's not going to make. Uh, if he's turning the cue ball loose like that, most of the time he's going to have made a ball. I guess Scott was maybe trying to. What do you think he was trying to do there with that shot? I don't know. Uh, you know, uh, I think no he was trying. I, I think he was trying to go up and down the table and get behind these balls. Wow. But, but he. But you know, this table's so quick. You know, the, he, he, didn't he almost even, did he, it. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he's running up and down the table a lot quicker than uh, he anticipated. I think that's what happened. Yeah, he almost did it, didn't he? But uh, that was a very aggressive shot. 
Well, it may he may pay for it. Mm, here comes that quick table like you were talking about. Now he's got a possible dead ball here on the nine, and he's looking at it. Well, uh, I don't guess it's worth looking at here, but yeah, not too dead from where he's at, though. No, I don't think so. Maybe he's going to shoot the ten ball. Shoot, shoot the ten here. I'm just always looking at combination shots. You know? Tell you what, though, you know, he has to make this 10 ball because uh, when that cue ball travels back uh, across the table, uh, that 14 uh, is is sitting out there, and if he goes for the 5 ball on this next shot, or the, yeah, that's a 4 ball, I think. Well, there's uh, a 5-9 combo that I, th I look for him to maybe oh, play position sure. for. Sure, Not nice, nice pick. Yep. Oh, overcut it, and the cue ball is going to go At loose. 14, the 14 sticking out like a sore thumb. See, I think maybe he might have been concerned about scratching there, too. You know, and, and uh, I know I would have been. But, uh, yeah, it's a tough shot. Well, it looks like uh, he's going to try and slide behind that. I think that's the pink four ball there. Pick that up. Well, he tried. Wow, well, looking now, he, he's created something even better. He's bumped the four up. Now he can go and play the four and go into the rack. Well, let me just if ask you, Danny. If he was trying to do that, that was beautiful. <laughs> right, right. Well, that's that was going to be my question. I, I, I don't think I, you know he what? was trying that. I don't know. I don't put it past him. He's, he, he is creative. He runs the balls, and as far as creativity, I believe he has a little more creativity in his game than Gabe does. Mm -hmm. I believe that would... I don't want to knock Gabe in any way, but... Uh, maybe that's not true. You know, I, I don't really know, Joey. I, don't, I, think I could be mistaken. <laughs> well, right now the score is 2-2. Two to two. Yeah, now we got a much better game, I think, possibly. That's right. Got a couple of balls out there on the table uh, that are bankable for both players. You know, I, I noticed some of these people on the forums here are asking who's putting up the money and for these players. And I really... I'm never really too concerned about that. I, I like to, uh, to me, that just doesn't have much to do with the game, you know, the pool itself. Uh, I'm, I've never been one to really be real. I mean, I, I guess some, I guess that just shows you where s some of the people focus their energy in other ways, you know. Mm -hmm. But I like to, when there's pool being played, I don't like to talk about money. I like to talk about the game. And that's what we're doing now. Exactly. We've got, a, we've got a fast-paced game working here, too. These guys have already played uh, three games in a very short period of time. Right. It's two to one. Wow. Yeah. Very quick. If uh, they tie it up, we might add, oh, have to here. ask them if they want to play that race to six. Oh, he must have got a kiss. Now, there, there was a creative shot. Wouldn't you agree? Absolutely. I mean, he had to have excellent cue ball control. And really, he did a lot with that shot. Well, I'm not, uh, not going to say. I don't know if he can hit this, the, this side of the 311. Uh, yeah, he's going to spin it. Yeah. But he couldn't really. Yeah, he couldn't really get over there. He wanted to get underneath the 13 there, didn't he? He, he tried. But he didn't make the trip, I'm afraid. I think uh, Gabe's going to knock that 11 ball towards his hole. And, and the, the, the job that Gabe has to do now, now if he can get behind that 9, that's where he really wants to be. Right, yeah. I think that's the key right there, right behind the 9. But I, I don't know that, I don't think he has the angle May, to do Maybe a Masse curve, but, you know, slight Masse. You know, well... One wants to bump those other balls his way, see? The the, the four balls in the middle. Right. But I don't think he... I think he's got to cut the, the 11 a little bit to get to the 9 underneath. That's right. And uh, if he goes forward, force following it, kind of sticking, trying to break him, there you got a scratch problem. So mm -hmm. I think, you know, it's just not quite sitting right to do anything real aggressive here other than just... One of the things that I've uh, seen with uh, Shannon Dalton, who who has won the hot seat uh, with his one-pocket game is, uh, and, and, and a couple of the other really good one-pocket players is this right here. They control mm -hmm. Whitey. Now that's a good shot. They, right. con they control Whitey first, and then the shot, 
you know, especially if it's a maybe I can make it type shot. It's control whitey. Don't let the, your opponent uh, uh, have a good shot at, at, at the next ball. And worry about uh, making the ball if it's a difficult shot at a later date. There's a Prime. time to shoot the shoot the ball in the hole, and there's a time to control whitey. And that was a time to control whitey. And he didn't get quite underneath the nine like he wanted to. Let's see if he can do it here. Wow, it almost looks like the 12, 13, 5 kind of is lined up good for Gabe's hole here. Uh-oh, now that wasn't quite... Well, he still got him on the 7 there. Yeah, I wish to watch Steve Cook play uh, when I was younger, and uh, he was real good at that shot, putting you underneath the balls like that. Just mm -hmm. really, really good at that. I've seen a few, uh, a few matches matches of Steve Cooks and uh, he was a slow delivered player and yeah. uh, no one in the world had to beat him. No, he was really you know, he really knew the game of one pocket and my I mean I, and I loved the game enough, you know, it's going back to what we talked about earlier. I loved the game enough to where I could say I, I kind of like that slow play because uh-oh. Uh-oh. I kind of like that slow play because I I get time to figure out what I would do in the situation. Mm -hmm. And I think if, you know, I tell people and they say, well, I want to learn how to play one pocket. I want to watch these guys that play fast. I tell them really to, you know, I, I think they're better off to watch someone that plays slower. So that way they can compare uh, what they might have done to what the, the good, the great player did, you know. That's right. And, and I think that's a wonderful way to learn. I really do. Well, that one, now it looks like Scott has an advantage this game. He promoted that ball there, and yeah, this is going to be pretty tough to, to, to not leave a bank here, wouldn't you say? Uh, I think he, he may. I, I don't know if he's going to want to try uh, sliding that cue ball up there by the 513 and trying to knock the 12-9 uh, away. Uh, he's, uh, he's in a difficult situation here. You know, I might do here is, oh, I might just run up. I don't know what I would do right here. I think I might just try to freeze the cue ball underneath the 12. And, and then maybe you can let bank, him take bank, a bank, bank a on the seven, bank on the seven, run into the six. Yeah. He knocks the six away, and yeah, you know the seven comes shot, flying. Yeah, it? yeah, yeah. And then he moves two balls away from your hole. But you know what else has he got here? All right. A good player told me when you're in trouble like this, just do something simple. Oh uh, yeah, I've heard that 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 piece of advice. You know. Let's see if Gabe does something simple. No, that wasn't. Wait Not simple. It gets him on the three here. Yeah, it was simple, but in a different. No, <laughs> oh. <laughs> it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't too good. Uh, uh, Scott's going to kick this in. You know, it wasn't in. all bad. Is he's got to get on the? He's got to get on something here. Uh, rail first. I'm sure rail first here. Well, you oh, know, he's got a combo. He's going to play. Now that's a gutsy shot. No, he's not going to play the combo. Well, okay. he, he's going to watch out with the slide. Yeah, he, I thought. I thought you know he might have been trying to allow for that slide knowing that and so that therefore he missed it a little high because he thought yeah, it slide and, and these diamond rails yep they you know even on a tv table here they they have they're plenty springy mm -hmm. i've noticed that so maybe uh in, in fact that was a little sharper angle you know than uh if the cue ball was a little closer to the right pocket over there uh so you know that was a little steeper angle that the cue ball came into the rail and so maybe the loss didn't occur, and, you know, he was anticipating a little slide. Yep. Wow. Okay, good shot. Very nice. Uh -huh. Well done. Yeah. I'm trying to think, what, what is Scott going to do here? See, and that's the advantage, I think, of a slower player. We don't really, these guys, well, Scott especially, thinks so fast that you, you almost get... It's almost like a barrage, you know. You don't get really time, but but this one here, he's got to think a little here, doesn't he? Well, I think he's going to knock that ten ball away from uh, Gabe's side of the table and maybe get behind that three. Hmm. Interesting. Went all the way down to the rail. He's huh? protecting that ball in his hole, isn't he? D did a pretty good job of it. Mm-hmm. You know, even when he plays safe, it looks aggressive, doesn't it? You, you're right. I've noticed that. I watched some other great players play, and <laughs> you know, watched C.J. Wiley play this one time, and he didn't really know the game that well at the time. But even when he played safe, it, he was so aggressive, you know, such a firepower that it looked it looked aggressive when he was playing safe. 
Gabe uh, has got a three ball that he can actually make. It's a difficult shot. I don't think, uh, you know, he's going to shoot it, but, you know, it is an option out there. And, you know, because even if he shoots the three ball and gets it in, the hole, in his hole, he really doesn't have another shot unless maybe he's banking the 11 ball. So, um, now whatever he does, it'll be well thought out, I'm sure. He's going to put that cue between the uh, rail and the 113, use, it, use the 113 as a blocking force. Mm-hmm. I don't know that he, I don't oh, know that he got there or not. No, he didn't draw it back far enough, huh? It's pretty close. I don't know if he can... I think Scott might be able to see the, the ball here. If he can, then Gabe's made a, a, a pretty big error there. He it's might like, uh, you know, he might be thinking, well, the table is dry, so and that's another thing that happens is, is the ball does draw a little easier when it's dry like that. There's less friction. Mm -hmm. So he might have... Been trying to take a little off that one. Look at this ball roll. You think these tables aren't dry? Yeah, they are. They're sliding around. They bank different. Well, if he decides to shoot this 13, he'll be tested here, won't he? Now, or if he shoots this uh, five, five ball, oh, no, he's looking at the three? Wow. Looking well, at the three. Well, well, the reason that he can look at it like that protection. is there's nothing facing. Yeah, there's nothing facing uh, Gabe's hole easily that uh, Gabe's going to be making. I don't. I still I don't, don't see a shot. Yeah, I don't see a shot too much either. That was aggressive. I'll, I'll say that. Yeah. He plays fast, doesn't he? Whew. We can't even uh, <laughs> express our, our, our thoughts uh, before he, he's already down on the shot yeah a very quick thinker scott frost played a lot of one pocket you know and yeah in the tournaments that uh we have uh, down in louisiana you know we have a, a lot of we have a regular weekly handicapped uh, one pocket tournament at buffalo billiards and what they do is uh you know the lesser players you know they you know they they, they haven't had a, a lot of experience at playing the game and so the thought process that they have to go through is, you know, uh, it, it takes more time for them to figure out what is the best thing to do. Right. Scott's played thousands, maybe tens of thousands of games of one pocket, at least at, at least thousands. I'm sure it's way over hundreds. And uh, when when you've played that many games, you know, it's uh, it's uh, auto, almost automatic what you're going to do next. Right. Yeah, you get quicker, you get more quicker at something, you know, that you're good at, and you, the better you get at it, the quicker you get, and that should, well, I remember when I first started playing one pocket, and I was in the tournaments, and huh, they would, the uh, referee would get on to me, because I played too slow, you know, and people didn't want to play me, because I played too slow, but, mm -hmm. but uh, I ended up trying to pick my speed up, my game up, and, yeah. Anyway, uh, it hurt me for a while, but uh, now I play a lot faster than I did when I was, you know, in the first few years that I learned the game. Well, I've, I've seen a lot of players that uh, have been playing for many, many years, Danny, and uh, it looks like, uh, you know, sometimes uh, they play extremely slow. Uh, you know, it's, it's almost as if... Uh, you know, I really can't understand why they play in so slow. And, you know, I hear people yeah. say things like, well, you know, he's trying to, you know, uh, shark his opponent, aggravate his opponent, uh, playing slower and at a slower pace, it'll aggravate his opponent, and that's why he's doing it. But uh, I've heard good players uh, mention to me uh, from time to time uh, reasons other than that. And uh, so we'll uh, discuss uh, some of those reasons right now. I'll give a score count here. Uh, the score is three to two, and uh, that's in favor of Scott Frost. He's shooting at his hole. A lot of speed, you know. The the ball just rolls forever, but it oh, didn't. That didn't. one looked like it might have soured a little bit on him. Looked like he leaned out a little bit. It looked like it might have, yeah, might have rolled to oh, towards Gabe's hole a little bit there. Well, it's, I, I, I could be wrong. I don't mean to say anything bad about the tables, but that one did look like, uh, you know, the the, the new cloth. It takes time for the balls to settle, and um, you know that one. That may look to me like that's the weak hole on this table, if that's the case, because I could kind of even see in Scott's uh, body language there, he was waving like the ball did maybe uh, deviate from its natural course. You know. Well, 
which if it would have hit the right side of the one, it would have... <laughs> it looked like it was hitting a lot closer to the corner than that to me, but... Mm -hmm. Okay, here comes a good shot. I can't see. I believe he hit it well, my didn't oh, he? My, oh, my. What a fun wow. shot. What a great shot. Now, that's a one-pocket shot. I think uh, Gabe's got to come with the same type of shot. He's got to kick at the one, two, two rails, and uh, just nestle the one ball right up, uh, the cue ball right up against the one. Yeah, Scott looks pretty confident right now. He looks pretty relaxed and... Is the one ball frozen? Uh, did uh, Scott no, call No, I don't froze? believe it is, or he would have probably noticed. I just can't tell. Mm -hmm. There's the slide. There's the slide. Now we're going to see. The Boy, look oh, at that. Oh, the ball's rolling look funny a little bit there. Tell you what, uh, I think they may have to do a little work on this table. I didn't see this. Uh, Previously. Oh, oh wow, looky here. Very unusual. This game is this Is game he gonna is, go behind the no, seven ball? He's not even looking at the two ball. No. He's left handed, okay? So being left handed, it, it, it he can make this two ball. He really can. Oh, he, he looked like he kinda jumped on it, don't you think, Joey? Yeah. He, it was a makeable shot, especially with him being left handed. A right hander would have had a well, that just didn't look like he had 100% effort there or something. You know what it is? I think he was a little bit upset about maybe one of the shots before that, possibly. I don't know. He uh, may be thinking about the, the role that he got on the 13. Right. Uh, but, uh, you know. Something was bothering him there. His, his job is uh, to buckle down and uh, start making these balls and control the game. But Gabe's at the table, and the score is 3-2. to two. Yeah, and I think right here he's going to have to take a shot at playing the seven off the nine, and this is kind of a straight pull shot. I, 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 or he might he might just be able to cut the seven in, but uh, he's I think he's worried about coming up, moving all those balls to Scott's hole, and not coming up with a shot on his hole. You know, I don't know. Something's bothering him, isn't it? I think he ought to shoot the one ball into the seven and uh, like that and, and do that carom float the cue ball right behind the two. Right. Just shoot it at a real slow speed and make sure that uh, you don't uh, give him a shot on the 13 right. ball. Right. That's that's probably that's what I think is the best shot to, uh, you know. And in and, and fact, you know, if, if if he shoots the cue ball with really good speed control, he could float the cue ball, the one ball into the uh, one three nine. Personally, I'd shoot that seven ball that he's looking at, but you know, that's a thinner hit though. He's gonna if he does that, he might have to kind of run into the thirteen. Well, you know, he could do that. I think that's the shot. Is he gonna, is he trying to draw this ball? Because he's moving the cue way. Oh, there you go. That's that's I think it's a little more palatable. if he puts a little left-hand spin on this. Yeah, he's got a little left-hand spin. Not much, but a little bit. Oh, oh gee. Whoa, oh, he made a ball. <laughs> Lucky for him. <laughs> yeah, you know what? He didn't come up with much of a row behind it. He's going to need a better shot than that. I kind of liked, uh, I kind of liked cutting that seven. I'll tell you what, I, I, I think, you know, you're behind in the match. And I don't know. I think I might have just cut the seven in and, and took my, with high English and just took my chances on, on, on you know, you're going to hit the nine there. Mm -hmm. um, but he played the conservative route, which is really, um, you know, that that doesn't surprise me. Gabe plays the right shot. And, you know, he hardly ever shoots the wrong shot. <laughs> so, but uh, for me, I think I might have gone a little more aggressive there than that. But that's just me. He's got to uh, wow, five follow, really. follow yeah. this uh, Look at cue. This, five yeah. Yeah, he's got to follow this cue because uh, uh, Scott can, if, if he gets behind that, oh. Oh, oh my, that's pretty. Five railer. I saw it coming. I little, really did. A little simple kick here. Scott's got this down pat. He's, he's right. going to he make the six ball. might not have to do that. He might just be able to go th off the 13, and I would draw off the 13 here. No, no. way. No way. Yeah, this is a pretty easy kick, just yeah. to the middle diamond. Right. Yeah, when you're at the corner and uh, you aim at the middle diamond, generally that takes you right to the corner. So that's a pretty common shot in one pocket, you know. I just thought taking the 13 out would be good too. But 
Well, he runs a risk if he puts a you know a big stroke and uh, he gets a little draw on the cue ball. He could run up and tap that one and then uh, right. not, yeah, not, you know, not even make the second. That was much shot than the 13. Cause Less risk. Yeah, it's risky. Well, the score is 4-3 four four to three and that's uh, Gabe leading this, uh, this game. Yeah. It's what, uh, what type this is of shot an interesting do we have shot here? here. Yeah, I, I don't know. Be interesting to see what he does here. He's probably going to try to leave him straight in on the 11 and just let him go. Yeah. He wants to get a little of the ways down there. Yeah, that's what that's, he's doing. That's, that's straight in. Practically that's, straight in, yeah. That's a good shot. That puts the pressure down. Yeah. Let's see what the freezer does here. He's trying to choose between uh, going uh, behind the 13, shooting the 13, and going behind the 1 9, and deciding uh, about the. Yeah. Uh oh. Now, that low left there, I think he might have had a low inside. Now, what we were talking about earlier is the deflection of her on, on the dryer cloth. Mm -hmm. That low left there, for me, I, I have to, when I'm playing on a dry environment like this where there's low, low friction. Mm -hmm. I almost have to play with an extremely low deflecting cue. Like, oh. Yeah, if I'm playing in New Orleans uh, on an old cloth or something, mm -hmm. I can use a one-piece shaft even with an ivory ferrule, you know, because mm -hmm. it's just there's a lot more friction there. Right. Uh, and, and uh, you know, the, the, every, the environment's wet, and so you just don't see it as much squirt or deflection, you know, which are the same thing. Do you, do you see uh, do you see a little, uh, Danny, uh, you know, the, we... we we all know that there's uh, two factors that... Oh, my goodness. What, what are we is going here? on? Yeah, really. Well, this isn't turning out to be much... I'm sorry to say, but I'm, I'm, I'm a little disappointed here with Gabe's... You know what, again, they're missing balls, and I tell you, that's why that they're using extreme amounts of English, and uh, they're not hitting their contact point right where they want to. And and it's probably uh, just because of the reason that you've been mentioning all this time, Danny. That's a, that's a great tip uh, for you people out there and uh, listening in here and getting free pool tips from Joey A's co-commentator. Yeah. Well, turtle wax. Uh, you know, I play a lot of straight pool, and when you put turtle wax on a ball, well, Scott, Scott will uh, be pleasantly surprised with this shot. Um, <laughs> but anyway, uh, you know, you put turtle wax on the balls, and you and uh, that's what we use when we play straight pool. Sometimes now I don't prefer the turtle wax, but it does it does reduce eliminate, the friction. It eliminates the friction for about an hour, and the balls will draw further. And look at this. What, what's going on here? I don't know what's happening. This is this is uncharacteristic at all. I'm, I'm very uncharacteristic of both players to be. I don't know. This is. Uh, I mean, they, they they haven't been able to adjust to this, did, did, you know, because uh, they came out the gate uh, swinging. I mean, Gabe, you know, run eight and out on the on the first shot of the game. Uh, yeah. Did it give them a different mindset or something? Yeah, this, I'm sure that the, the play will pick up here. They're both making some real uncharacteristic errors, really are. But uh, they're going to have to play better than this if they, you know, it's just. And okay, now here again, he's going to use outside English, which is left-hand English, to try to scoot over. Now here, there will be selection. So if he misses the ball, I would look for him to miss it on the bottom rail, the short rail. I might, I might shoot this 11 ball and and go go make that three ball right now. You know, I, I, I like that you're looking at that. I think that's a good shot selection. Oh wow! Neither one of the players are playing good at all. No. You know what it is? Part of it is the table, and I think part of it is is that they're both just worn to a frazzle. I played in this uh -huh. tournament. This is a great. This is a wonderful venue. Probably one of the nicest oh, venues right. I've yeah. seen. But yesterday, I just they just wore me to a frazzle. I felt like I was some racehorse that was bleeding out the nose, you know. Mm -hmm. And I played a match, and then I played another match, and then I played, and then I said, uh, okay. And it was a hill-hill match against a, a fellow from Norway. Christian Johansson, and he was a great player. He, you know, he, I know him. He, he plays well, and I played hard to win that match, Hill Hill, oh. mm. and it was a real nail biter. It come down to the eight ball, and we were both kind of playing safe, and it was eight eight, and race to nine, and and then I I win, um, and uh, I turn my scorecard, and I've already played you know three matches, and they say, 
well, you know, now you got to play another match. And it's back-to-back. -back. As soon as I turn a scorecard in, they say, well, you're up on table, blah, blah, blah. And see, that's kind of what they're going through today. So the mm -hmm. format here is grueling. You have to be in top-notch physical condition to play in this type of format. I mean, it's... It's grueling, Joey. Oh, that's a, that's uh, some good points that you made there, and uh, and I can kind of see some of that. I I even heard uh, Shannon Dalton mentioning uh, yesterday that you know the 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 he said I've got like three matches in the next uh, three and a half hours, and and, yeah. and I looked at him like, uh, gee whiz, how can you even get that many matches uh, done in that period of time? But apparently the Masters eight ball, uh, uh, the races uh, that y'all were going to, it moves pretty quickly. It moves quick, yeah. Oh, we still got a ball game here. I want to see Gabe. Uh, okay. He just gave that ball up. All right. Scores six to six. He's not happy with the way he's playing. Yeah, I can see he's a little upset, and I understand. Uh, you know, they're both worn out, and they're playing on... Uh, okay. Okay. I'm not trying to make excuses for him either, but uh, I think that I think they'll both get relaxed, and I think you'll see that the play is going to pick up the level of play. It's very, very uncommon for these two players to make those easy shots like that. You know? Okay, Danny. Now, this is what I want from you. Sure. You're tired. You've been playing in a tournament for days at a time. You're fatigued. The table's playing different than what you than what you're used to. What do you do? Well, you know that's a. That's a great question. Um, the only way I could really answer that... Oh, I don't, don't want to scratch here. The only way I could answer that would be to say that you, that's when you just have to dig deep. And you just have to, you just have to dig deep, and it's, it's who wants it the most from there, you know. It, it, it really... It, some, for some, it may be about the money. There's different motivations that, for different players. But uh, I've played uh, some really tough one-on-one -on -one challenge matches, and... Uh, you really got to you've got to want it, you know, and that's I would say, um, I'd say that's that's the only way I could really answer that is. Is there anything uh, physically, mentally, or uh, even spiritually that you can do to uh, to motivate yourself to come with that additional energy? I realize that you're right. saying you know uh, the person who wants it the most, but how? How can you get that? I mean, do, do you? Well, there's nice one shot. thing that that I do uh, when I'm playing a, a tough match and I'm starting to fatigue. You know, I'll go in the the restroom and I'll wash my face and the back of my neck. I wash my hands. I'll right. dry my hands off really I good. I do that too. I uh, do that also. Okay, that's that. Well, that's Joey A's tip. Now we need another little. We need something a little <laughs> special coming from you, Danny. Yeah. Well. You know, I haven't been playing as much pool. I haven't been competing as much pool as I used to. So, uh, mm -hmm. uh, I think going into the restroom and washing your, I, I, you know, washing your face. I used to have these little, um, oh, they were like, uh, I used to have acne when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. And they were like... Um, Alcohol? Yeah, it was uh, like uh, salicylic tone, acid tone. and they were little pads. And I would just wipe those on me and it just seemed like it refreshed i'd wipe my face with them and just start you know just any way you can refresh and and uh i don't know everyone's different say a little prayer whatever whatever it is that you do you know and uh any any breathing special breathing yeah i Does think that, that help any that's a good thing to you know just just think positive just try to remain positive and oh good shot here he avoids those kisses well like like a billiard player would, you know, just mm -hmm. avoids the kisses. Well, uh, I I don't really know. When you're really tired, it's you just have to train your mind. Uh, I guess to I guess the best thing to do is be able to put yourself in that situation as many times as you can, and then and then. Uh, well, that's no, he needed to get behind gonna... the 14, and he wasn't able to do well, that. It ain't that bad, though, really. Wait a minute. Yeah, it, it is, because it's, now it's he's in the free bad. bank. Yeah. For a minute, I thought he might be able to bank that one, but yeah, it is bad. Yeah, he can put a bunch of spin on this, and uh, he can make the 14 with this one ball. He didn't do it. No, he didn't put enough spin, enough, didn't cut it enough, but it's uh, in a you know difficult position for Gabe. He's got a couple of choices he can make. He can go underneath it, or he can just uh, shoot off the top of it. He's not trying to make 
the one, is he? Uh, yes. He was. Wow. Well, he's behind in the game. Well, no, wait a minute. The tie, yeah, it was no, a 6-6 six, six tie. tie. Yeah. Tied well, Gabe can't be happy with that shot. I mean, no. He, you know what? He normally plays a little slower than this, than what I've seen, and he's playing Scott's pace. You don't want to get in that speed. You don't want to get in that speed game with Scott here, you know. You, you, want, you want to keep to your rhythm, and I've, I've grown up watching Gabe play, and maybe he's picked his pace up a little bit since I've seen him play last, but... I I, uh, I played Gabe in the uh, one pocket tournament earlier this week. Did he play this this No, this he didn't fast? play this fast. No, he I didn't, didn't play this so. fast. Not at all. This is Scott's pace. This is his normal pace, Scott Frost. But he That's plays right. an unusually fast, you know. Uh, and he can get away with it because he has a lot of firepower, and he that he just thinks quick. He's a quick thinker, mm -hmm. uh, you know. But uh, Gabe is. Not a, what I would call a slow player, but he doesn't play grease lightning either, you know, like, like this. Right. So, so you got to be careful. You don't want to fall into the other fellow's pace. You know, you, you've got to control your end. <laughs> uh, well, I, I think uh, Gabe uh, just has to start thinking about the speed of this match and realize that, you know, he's, uh, he, he can't play at that fast pace. He's not used to it. And I've never seen him play at this uh, fast a pace, quite frankly. Well, when you're playing like Scott, you almost he almost forces you to play a little faster. I mean, uh, just just from his, you know, whatever you want to call it, stage presence, whatever you want to call that. It's just it's al it's almost like he's uh, uh, waiting for you to shoot. You know, I mean, please, or, right. you know, it's almost like an inconvenience. Uh, you know, I mean, it's not it's nothing that he's uh, really doing. It's just you know, you you feel almost obligated to you know get to the table and oh, here's make a, nice a good bank shot. shot. Here's a nice bank shot. Oh, I would have liked to seen that one go. I really would have. Well, that that would have made the uh, the score even up again, uh, seven seven. And let's nice. see if Scott's going to make this ball. He's yeah, he's going to make it. No, I mean yeah, he's going to make it, but he's not following in. Oh, look at that! Oh, oh, he almost wow! Hung. The dry almost, cloth got him over yep. there on the other tables. That would have been a corner hook city. Yep. He's, uh, he's not happy with the. He's doing something there. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't know. That was a. That was a. I think I would have just let Gabe bank the one from there. I don't, that corner hook was a pretty. That's pretty risky too, wasn't it? You know. Uh, I think you guys got to. If, if Gabe uh, would have uh, had to shoot off his back rail uh, at that one ball, trying to bank it. He risk uh, yeah, scratching in that corner ball. You know, you got to turn the cue ball loose a little bit too. Right. So. Well, you know, if he's shooting off this back rail, though, you know, you see, he, he can't do too much with it. You know, I mean, it's for you know, he can't hit low English or he can't draw the ball. He can just float the ball back up this way. Okay. Well, let's try this aggressive. one. This, this is, is aggressive. I shoot this shot. I I like this shot. If I need to, I'll shoot it. Mm. He didn't even come close to making it. Well, he didn't come close, and he left the bank. Yep. I myself, well, he was kind of had to shoot that shot, didn't he? Because if he plays the safety, no, he, he didn't have to. He could have gone over one diamond and put both of those balls on his side. Oh, wow. They're both off. You know, I, 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 guess, I guess it is uh, the fatigue. It's, it's funny, you know... I, I see myself uh, doing exactly what they're doing right now in some of these tournaments when I've been playing a long time and I'm mm -hmm. playing a, a, you know, normally I feel like it's when I'm playing a better player, you know, a much better player. And maybe, you know, I'm dogging it a little bit, but, you know, can you consider this dogging it? It doesn't seem like they're dogging it. Uh, they're just missing these shots. And uh, why are they missing them? Well, I guess they're missing it because they're tired. That's all I can say. Mm-hmm. And maybe a little bit too lackadaisical here, the play, from what I can see. I'm not used to seeing him this much. But I think it, you know, I think once they get settled in here a little bit, and I, I still think that the play is going to pick up. Um, the I score really is do. still 2-1, to one, is that right? 2-1, to one, correct. 2-1 yeah, to one in favor of Scott Frost? Correct. Yeah. Okay. Well, score is 2-1. to one. It's a race to five. In this game, 
The score is six to six. Each player needs two more balls. Looks like Gabe shooting at his hole. Oh, a wonderful shot. This ball, this ball's going to go. Wonderful it's shot. Splits the pocket. Doesn't even hit a, hit the side rail or the foot rail. It's just now that made up for some of the misses that he's had. He knocks this five ball to the other side of the table. He's not going to shoot a three railer. Don't tell me that. Don't mm, tell me, Gabe. Uh, this you you only need one here, Gabe. Yeah, you know, get ahead, stay ahead. Wait a minute. He might be able to draw the ball. Uh, he can, but he's he might bank on the fourteen if he misses it. And I mean, it could cost uh, him the game. Wow, this is wild. Yeah, he but, makes it. Hey, great shot. I'll tell you what, that shot would not have been my choice. No, I'd have put the five ball on the other side. I'd have taken the five ball out of play for my opponent. Yeah, I think that's what Scott is just saying to him right now. And, and he was saying, uh, you, you know, what, what, do you not respect me enough, Terry? To, what is that? That's no <laughs> respect. Right, right. <laughs> but I'll tell you what. Uh, Gabe may have known him, you know, I mean, he, he plays a little three cushion billiards. Um, mm -hmm. He, and at the same time, he may have banked that ball. You notice he drew the cue ball all the way down to the bottom rail. If the 14 would have missed on the short rail, it would have not left the bank. Right. But I still agree with you. I think that's a little aggressive needing just one. Uh, uh, it's just no matter. This is a bad break, but uh, wow. Well, this, we're seeing some really funny games here, aren't we? Yes, indeed. Well, two to two anyway, and that's a new game. And Racing to five. five. Yeah. Race to five. Well, while Gabe, uh, Gabe's trying to decide what uh, he's going to do here, I'm going to check in on the chat room and see what's going on. Cliff and Efren did not play the semifinal match yet. Uh, they will be playing the semifinal match, uh, semi match uh, tomorrow at 6 p.m., and yes, We'll be live streaming it, so I hope uh, you, you, you all uh, check in and uh, you have a chance to uh, see that uh, uh, semifinal match. We've got uh, over 3,000 uh, hits uh, uh, on this. Uh, Ross, short bus, Ross. Don't even, nice don't shot, even head nice to shot. Galveston. Nice shot there. Okay, Gabe's starting to play a little better now. I think he's, he's taking his time. He's you know. Wow, nice. He massayed that ball. He massayed it. I thought he was hooked, but he wasn't. That's a pretty serious shot there. Yeah, he curved it. That that wasn't natural. He had to, you know, he had to lots, maximum inside English on that bank there. He has a, <laughs> he does some quite, quite some faces, you know, Scott, when he's down on the shot, it's, his, it's like his eyes kind of roll back in his head, kind of like a shark biting you or something, you know. <laughs> he, he moves those eyebrows around, too. Yeah, he moves them around, and uh, he's, uh, you, know, you can see there's there's some wheels turning up there. Oh, wow. A creative shot. Well, you know, the, the pace of... the. Looks like the level of play may be starting to pick up a little bit here. And, you know, they, they're starting to get a little more, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Accustomed? Yeah. Uh, acclimated. Settled, you know, yeah, yeah. Settled down. Settled in, yeah. yeah mm -hmm. They're starting to get there. Well, the score in this match is 2-2. Two to two, And uh, in this game, uh, Scott Frost has just made two balls. Uh, Gabe's uh, looking to get back, uh, you know, just to start pocketing some of these balls. And he has a fly on the balls over there. Fly is wanting to get in the game. Well, we we had a player down there in Louisiana for a lot of years. Uh, we called him Fly Boy. <laughs> but that was reason we called him Fly Boy. This isn't bad. Like you said earlier, Joey, you know, control the cue ball first, right? That's right. When uh, when uh, Scott shoots this shot, uh, he wants to either leave uh, Gabe in the stack or on the rail. One of those two. And he didn't do either. Hmm. I don't. 
I don't know about that shot. I, I, I don't know. I, this is just, there, he's obviously a better one pocket player than I am. I don't. I, you know, again, he just shoots so fast, you don't get a chance to really. I mean, a situation like that required a little thought. You know, what are you going to do? Can you? I might have just kicked into the rail in the back of the stack, and just try to nudge some balls over my way there. But yeah, uh, I think I, on that shot, Scott had. I think I just like coming in and just kick, kicking into this bottom rail and just slowly. You know, I, of course, you owe a ball then too. You know, um, I don't know. I think I think uh, Scott. You know, there, there, there's always uh, m multiple uh, choices that a player can make on every shot in one pocket. There's probably you know three four or four, five, yeah. three yeah, three or four, four or five different uh, you know decent options, and there's always one best option. We don't always see that best option, but uh, there are several options for a player uh, when when he's at the table and. You know, it depends upon your skill sets and what you're comfortable with. So Yeah, and if you uh, can make those options and, and shoot in less than 20 seconds like Scott does, you I think that would qualify, qualify you as a quick thinker. Well, I, yeah. I, I don't see him making any of those shots that where he's, you know, speeding down the highway. I, I think uh, Scott's actually uh, shooting too fast for his own uh, good. This table is not a table that he's used to playing on. Right, you right. Know? The, the conditions are different. The cue ball is different. Yeah, and a little uh, caution. Throwing a little caution to the wind might be a good idea there. Well, yeah, yeah it, it needs to be a little more cautious for sure. <clears throat> what do you think here? I think he'll kick into the rail here and, and try to avoid the scratch and just kick the six. I think he'll try to play the cue ball down in the bottom right corner there, don't you? Yeah, he just doesn't want to leave uh, a, a bank on this 14 ball. That's the only thing he wants to do, and he's done a good job of that. It's a fine shot. You 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 picked it, Danny. Yeah. Good shot. Oh, aggressive. Boy, that was aggressive. Nice shot. Really nice shot. He didn't just put him in the stack. He moved the balls to his hole. I like it. You know, and that was that, that, that shot wasn't without risk. You know, he could have left that 11, you know, that 11 ball there. He could have left it. You know, he took a risk there. Trying, trying to knock the 9 ball away from with the 13. Oh, beautiful shot, Gabe. Beautiful shot. Oh, he got a little bit of, he might have got away with one there a little bit, don't you think? Yeah. But it was still a well-played shot. Man, this is fast one pocket. I tell you, fast pace. And, you know, it's just fast pace. It's I don't know if uh, the table speed has uh, got players, uh, you know, uh, rushing or if it's their fatigue, you know, where they're just trying to get through the game quicker than normal because they're just fatigued yeah. or, or what the problem is. But, uh, yeah, they're playing, in my opinion, they're just playing too fast. Yep. Both of them. Well, yeah. I agree. had over 3,300 uh, hits on this uh, this live stream today, and uh, we're glad all of you joined us. I think uh, Abe's got a shot on this 11 ball if he wants to shoot it. He's, uh, he has, I'll tell you what, there's a lane. I can see this lane between the 5 and 9, and uh, it's very possible that... Uh, Gabe uh, might even take a shot at this 11 ball and run up and down the table. The table's real quick, and if he uh, tracks the cue ball between the 5 and 9, he can come back down the table and pick up the 4 ball. Mm, he sees the 8 ball. He's, he's, he sees the shot. Now, remember, Gabe, play a little slower here. There's no reason to jump on it the first thing you see here. You can slide over for the 4 ball nice next shot. if nice he makes shot. it. Gabe has picked up his speed, I think, in a little bit. You know, mm -hmm. his game is 
He's picked it up, the pace. Well, so no, no ball. The score is two to zero. It's a race to five. Now that shot here on the 13, this was Bugs Rucker's specialty, in my opinion. Uh, I used to watch Bugs Rucker play when I was younger, and he would make this 13 ball on, on you, and he would make it with consistency. He, he could that far down the table? Yeah, even that far down. And I You're tell talking you, about a one-railer, right? A one-railer, yeah. Mm -hmm. And he would, now that one might be a little close, but any shot like that, he was the favorite to make. Wow. <laughs> he wow. just, almost to the point where sometimes he'd just ignore his opponent's all, you know. Scott looks like he's not happy with the way the ball's rolling. You can see it in his body language. Mm -hmm. Seems like maybe... I don't know. When you're playing bad, everything seems like it's, you know. Yeah, going going against you. Yeah. But they're trying to be aggressive. They're trying to, you know, they want to. They're trying to. They're trying to provide the TV with a little, some TV shots. Right, yeah. Okay, now this will surely require a little thought, won't it? They can't just run up there and shoot this ball, whatever ball they decide. Well, a real reasonable shot is to shoot the, uh, the the 13 ball or that 12 ball, whatever that pink ball is that's closest to the uh, cue ball, not the five, but the other one, right. the stripe, that's and the just 12. bank it towards his hole and bank it two rails, and bank it to the side rail, but he's not choosing my shot. Because that way uh, there would be no bank shot for, oh, see, here's an e easy cut shot for uh, Scott. Well... Not without risk, though. Yeah, I say easy cut shot. He, he's stuck on the back rail. Yeah. It's not It's not easy. No. I think he's forced to shoot it, though. Got a team ball that uh, you can maybe slide the cue into the five and See pick that up left the left eye, that cue underneath that left eye? Uh-huh. And he moved his head off to the side. As he shot the shot, he pulled his head completely out of the shot. Mm -hmm. Well... I don't know about these guys, but I haven't been playing any. I haven't been playing enough pool, and I find myself when I'm not playing good. When I have well, when I haven't been playing, I find myself raising up on shots just just out of laziness or just lack of play. And here lately, I just I just haven't been playing any pool at all, hardly. So uh, I was happy. I missed I missed one out of the money in each the one pocket and the and the eight ball, but. I tell you, I was happy with the way I played, <laughs> you know? Yeah. So, well, even though I missed one out of the money, I'm still not terribly, just for as little pool as I've played, I, I was really seriously not even considering coming to this tournament, or, you know, considering not coming, but uh, I'm, I'm glad I came. This is a great tournament. Well, we're glad you, uh, you know, you're supporting this uh, tournament. Uh, the people in Galveston, Texas have, uh, oh, wow. you know, suffered severely with Hurricane Ike, and they're in a re building process. I was talking to one of the uh, shuttle drivers uh, just today, and uh, they were mentioning to me that, you know, uh, many of the restaurants that are in the Galveston area uh, have just been back in operation for, you know, like the last month or so. I mean, that's uh, that's been over a year ago that yeah. uh, Hurricane Ike uh, hit here and, you know, did tremendous damage. Right. And, but uh, Galveston has made some great recovery already. And they're continuing to dig themselves out from underneath uh, Hurricane Ike's uh, damage. And uh, we're glad that uh, you came and uh, all the other players and and uh, all the fans. Uh, we just, in fact, uh, people continue to show up uh, for this tournament. Uh, just today, uh, one of the uh, Internet Forum uh, people, Bora Driver, showed up. And, uh, you know, he's going to be here for a few days. And uh, we, we, we're just glad that people are, you know, uh, concerned about the, the the local economy and they're helping uh, bring uh, Galveston back. Let me ask you about this shot, Joey. What do you think about rail first and, and, and kicking, kick bank in the 13, rail first, instead of just banking it? Yeah. What about a rail first yeah. and just parking yeah. the cue ball? Yeah, I like, I like that. I like that shot very well. Well, I just, he, he just went to, for the bank, you know? Mm-hmm. I, 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 you know, the ball I, slides a little bit more than normal, so that might have been a good shot. That, and you know, I think that the players are complaining that this table uh, has got a slight lean toward the left, 
and uh, mm -hmm. you know if, if 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 the table does in fact have a, a lean, you know, like that shot there, you know, yeah, uh, you know, maybe the players are, you know, they they're a little tired. Uh, maybe this table's got a slight uh, lean to it. And I think it might. I, I think it might. I don't. I don't mean to discredit diamonds. I think they're the greatest table out there, especially to play one pocket on. But um, yeah, I've I've seen a couple of them roll off here this this tournament, and you know they just. Uh, that's that's really that's again that's uncharacteristic because generally the diamonds you can't ask for a better play a uh, better table than a diamond. You know. Well, you know they've been moving equipment around in here, and uh, it's it's possible that uh, you know some uh, table movement occurred here. Now I don't know that it did, but we've got some new carpet out there. Yeah, and uh, it's possible that uh, the, the 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 movement of the table may, because uh, I I've I've been on this uh, you know TV table the the whole week, and uh, I haven't noticed uh, the, the cue ball rolling off, and, but I think that it is rolling off now and. Yeah, yeah maybe, I think it may be also. Maybe we'll just have to uh, get out. You know, the the, the diamond crew uh, uh, mechanics have have done a super job. I haven't heard oh, one. I, I heard one complaint, and it was a legitimate complaint. Uh, there was a uh, table with a um, uh, with a, with a problem on it, and uh, a diamond uh, came out and addressed the problem and right. fixed it right away. Yeah, I saw that. It was table one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know. And they they get right on it if you if you uh, if you let them know that there's a problem, they really respect the players. They they built these they built these tables uh, off of the players, uh, you know what what they consider to be you know what they asked what's wrong with the normal tables out there. And so these are designed by pros. The, the tables are, and so I, I I agree with you. I think. I think it's, and, and, you know, nothing's going to be perfect. The earth is rotating, you know. That's right. And after you recover a table, I mean, it's it's just after maybe a week of play, it's just standard procedure to kind of re-level it. And, and uh, oh, here comes the freezer. Now, nice. that's a, that's nice a shot. shot that kind of, you know, the score was 5-2 to two before he made that. Now it's 5-3, to three and he's, so there's one of those little. Is he going to shoot the four ball? Yeah, it looks like he is going to shoot the four ball, and he's going to make the four ball. Beautiful shot. Well, Scott can pick up this uh, nine right now and uh, make the score six to five in his favor, and he might even have bank on the two ball after this. Oh, he, he might run right in, into the stack and try and win the, win the game. Yeah, I think that's the move here. Hold on. For my taste, you know, I mean, he made a great shot, but uh, a little hard. Yeah, he shot ball separation. Yeah. Let's see, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that gives him six. That's right. Needs so. two balls. The score in the match is two to two, and they're racing to five. This is a hard shot, really, you know. And he made it look easy. Well, I can assure you that uh, after this match is over, um, the Diamond Crew will be out here with levels to make sure that uh, any uh, changes in uh, the table's levelness right. is uh, is corrected. Oh, yeah. Any problems are corrected. And uh, tomorrow at 6 p.m., I assure you, there won't be any uh, movement of that cue ball on this table. It, it, it'll go where the players are aiming it. Oh yeah, they're this these tables are well designed, well built. If I had a pool table, uh, you know, it's playing straight. I don't even like playing on some of the other tables. This this is great equipment, you know. It's not it's not my intention to knock the table in any way. Greg Greg uh Greg Sullivan does a lot to uh promote pool and you know he does a lot and he's he he's got a great product here with the, with the diamond pool table. He really does. Yeah, I, okay, I, here I, comes I think... uh, the frost right here. Right out of the gate. Oh. Mm. He wasn't rewarded there, was he? Nope. No reward. No soup for Scott. No free dessert. That's right. <laughs> That's right. No lanyap, as we say down in New Orleans. That's uh, something extra. No lanyap. Oh, they're asking us. They're asking. We're on the spot here. What do 
we need? That's the first ball Scott made. Um, see, Gabe hasn't made a ball this this rack, has he? There's two balls in in in, in the uh, ball return right now. Now I don't know if one was made in the side, the corner, or you know, by accident or what. I've got the monitor half blocking uh, the table. Hmm. Well, <clears throat> let's see. Scott's looking at. Uh, so it must have gone in Gabe's hole there. Right. The score is one to one. One to one. Could it, a ball when Scott shot the four in? Could a ball inadvertently flown in? Oh, Joey? He, oh, I'm, uh, yeah, easily. Uh, I didn't see I, it. My, well, my monitor is actually blocking uh, Gabe's uh, pocket, so. I, I couldn't see if the ball went in his hole or not, but I, I think that's what happened. Yeah. Well, I hope it went in his hole and not one of the other five. Uh-oh, three to two, huh? Three to two, and just Gabe just hung that ball up. I only see um, Scott picking up this two ball and then uh, going down and making the three. I don't see anything else that... Uh, you think it's worth it to even shoot the two? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so this is a very uh, reasonable shot. Well, you know what? You don't gain anything from it. And he's just hes just not going to take any chances. He's ahead three to two. And I kind of like that option, really. No, no, he's not ahead three to two. Or Gabe is ahead three to two. Oh. Well, no, no, Gabe's ahead three to one now. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I don't even know what the score is here. Yeah. No, that, uh, that ball that was just made. Uh, go no, by games. Scott oh. is winning three to two by oh, games. Oh, I'm sorry. Sure. Yeah. Yes, he is. Okay. Wow, here's an aggressive shot. Gabe, wait a minute. That ball rolled out, they think. Table's not rolling well, unfortunately. Yeah. We'll, we'll, I'm sure now we'll have a battles out here, and we'll fix this problem after this match is over. Unfortunately, the players are just, you know, as it, with any match, uh, the players are just going to have to deal with this problem. And yeah, a bank pool player would tell you that. Well, it's rolling off. Bank it harder. Shoot hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Correct it. Yeah. You know, Bugs Rucker, when I used to watch him play one pocket, he, those long rail banks weren't, he didn't roll them very much. It seemed like they had quite a bit of, you know, speed on them when they were flying in there. I, you know, I, I never got a chance to see Bugs uh, play in his prime or anything except on uh, tape. And, uh, but I've always heard, you know, and stories about people that have gone to play him. And, uh, you know, he, I've heard, you know, how he would call a long rail bank and he, he call a, a shot like uh, the five ball corner pocket whistling. Yeah, yeah. Well, he in his bank tape, uh, he would. <coughs> I remember he banked one in, and he was has an instructional uh, tape on banking, and he banked one, and he said, "Bank goodness." <laughs> uh, bank goodness, that ball went. <laughs> I, I thought that was kind of clever. I like those little, what do you call them, the uh, metaphor jokes, you know? Sure. I like those. Well, I think uh, Scott may have tied it up here. The score is three to three. Scott leads a match three to two. That's what I said earlier. He's leading the match three to two, and sometimes you know you you, you play according to the score of the of the match, right? I mean that two ball. You think that was an easy shot, Joey, on the two that that uh, this rack. Yeah, I think I would have shot that two ball uh, just to pick it up, uh, to even up the score two to two, and then, you know. Um, you then know, run down and, and make yeah, the three. And then run down and just make the three ball later. It up was a long shot, though. though. It was kind of a long shot straight in. But I agree with you. You know, that there, it's, it's, oh, oh, wow. Aggressive play. Aggressive. Wow. You know, I almost think that uh, Gabe is uh, taking on uh, some of the style of uh, Scott Frost's play, and, you know, I, I don't think it suits him, quite frankly. Well, that last shot, it, he he felt confident that the bank, the uh, the ball was 
wired and it and it obviously it was so well he made a good shot he, and he got almost, a little bit of a almost bad scratched roll, really <laughs> well uh, bad roll could have been worse he could have scratched yeah, yes indeed that is more you, you know that is a shot excuse me a shot that that is more of a scott frost um shot and so was that also mm -hmm. um yeah, that, that wasn't any good, I don't think. I think now he's got a free bank here. Good shot. Mm-hmm. That was an almost. Yeah, I think you're right. I think he's playing a little too aggressive, maybe, Joey. You know? They're a little scared right now of, of uh, Lopes on the ball, but it still looks to me like the the um, the bottom left hole here, which is Gabe's hole. It still looks to me like Gabe that is the best pocket on this table, you know for sure. So, yeah, which will play an advantage to Gabe because he's right-handed, and uh, uh, you know Scott's going to naturally want to break to the left hole because. Uh, you can reach more shots, right? Uh, uh, shooting in the left hole. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So. Right. Wow, looky here. He's thinking about banking this ball. His bank pool game must have just gone up way. This is too aggressive, Gabe. This isn't. No. This is too aggressive. A little aggressive. Yeah, I, I agree with you, Danny. I, I I don't know if it's the fatigue that's got these guys, or or what. Maybe well, maybe we need to start having uh, the challenge matches at uh, 9 a.m. in the morning. another ball there it is okay scores five to four in favor of scott frost scott leads the match three to two this is one pocket it's a race to five okay This commentary is hard work, Joey. Sorry, Danny, I had to take a break there. I had to had to take a, right. a little drink of water there and tough work. It's commentary, you know. Well, when you sit in this booth uh hour after hour and do the commentary, it, it can get a little uh, taxing. Right now, uh, we've got uh, two great players that uh, seem to be struggling. You know, they came out the gate. Uh, Gabe came out swinging, uh, made an eight and out right off the break, uh, you know, of Scott. And, you know, two innings and, uh, in fact, uh, you know, one inning per person. And the first game was over with. So they came out uh, at a rather fast pace. And I think uh, maybe that uh, start might have uh, helped uh, fuel the, the problems that we're seeing uh, going on right now. And Gabe looks like he may be slowing down a little bit, possibly. He's going to table 16. He has the score sheet. Oh, wow. Outside English, huh? Outside English. Well, I would have gone, I would have thought he went inside English there. Wow. Yeah, he's a little unsettled, Gabe. You know, I, I thought he, for sure he'd bank that with inside English and run the cue ball up towards the six, you know? Mm hmm. But he went into the route. 
I like that uh, shot that uh, Scott shot just now with uh, getting behind that 12 ball. He was attempting, you know, to knock yeah. it towards his hole. And uh, very nice shot. Now, Gabe shoots his 14 ball, one rail. I'm just going to come out of my shoes. He is he? He's not looking. Tell me he's not looking at the 14. Well, that's Bugs Rucker. I'm, I'm, I'm out of my shoes. I'm you coming, are out, coming out, shoes. out of your shoes. Good um, there they, how about there they go. How about that? Sports fans. There they go. Now that was, uh, in my opinion, you know, uh, another shot that Bugs would really was really accurate on, and I'm kidding, he was really accurate on that shot. Would, would he do that shot uh, oh. in, in a gambling yeah. match? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh -huh. turn those banks like that, just twisted. Uh, he called them twist banks, you mm -hmm. know. And and you know when you're closer to the object ball like that, you can apply more English on it. You can even at that long distance, that English will hold because. You're a little, you know, it's, it's a, you're you're close to the object ball, so the English is fresh. So it does let that ball twist a little better. I okay, think, right. Mm -hmm. But yeah, man, I agree with you. He still had to hit it. <laughs> great <laughs> shot. It was a great shot. Yeah. He, he didn't have a whole lot of risk, except you know the only risk was the possibility of hitting that 12 ball or that 13 ball that's down there on the side rail. Yeah. If he hits that coming back, it's all over. Katie bar the door. Let's see now. Is it six to six? Where did that ball? Six to five. Six to five. Uh, that's 11, 12, 13, 40. Yeah. Okay. Six to five. All right. In in favor of Scott. Mm -hmm. Six five Scott. Scott's leading the match three to two, right? Correct. Yeah. Okay. Well, well. Another three railer maybe. Whew. This is going to have to require a little thought here. He's He's looking it over. I don't know what he could be thinking about on this 13. Yeah. I kind of... You know, I mean, if he shoots the 13 ball and goes three rails, so he's got the cue ball back, uh, you know, so that the guy, so his opponent, Scott, can't cut the 11 ball. Well, if he does that, th where's, his, where's his next shot? He's going to have to pull the cue ball all the way back towards uh, Scott's pocket. Mm, I don't know about this shot. This looks a little too aggressive for me. Well, there's the 11 ball uh, right in play. Yeah, it's so. too aggressive. Yeah, that, that shot wasn't any good. I would have just looked to run to the end rail there off the 11. Just, just let him go. I mean, if he gets, you, you don't want, I know he's worried about leaving him a bank, but I think he just got to focus on drawing to the end rail there on the short rail, you know. But I'm not as good a player at one pocket possibly as Gabe. I don't know. I mean, he beat me in the last tournament we played in, so I can't. Uh, I used to give him 10 8, believe it or not. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> yeah. No kidding. Well, he was the big bird then. Oh. He's now, ba he's now the babe. Yeah. See, he's changed from the big bird to the babe. Yeah, he's, he's not clumsy and uh, like the big bird on, uh, what is that, Sesame Street? Sesame Street, yeah. yeah. That, was, that was his nickname for, for quite a while there in Oklahoma. Yeah. And he never yeah. really was clumsy. Uh, he just. Kind of a, he just, just a big a, fella. Big fella, and you know, kind of a fun-loving guy. You know, just well, that's like Big Bird. He was yeah. he was a nice uh, bird, as I recall. Gabe's uh, got a great personality. Yeah, easy yeah. going, very polite. You know, when I played him in my match, uh, he beat me the first game rather handily, and the second game I came back and won my game, and the third game uh, I actually. Uh, uh, he was leading the match, but I had four balls sitting right in front mm. of my hole, and I, well, well, this is not nice. He was trying to catch the other side of the six, the the left side, you know, and he was trying to he was trying to do something really aggressive. I tell you one thing about Scott, when his play is on is working, it's really hard to deal with. I mean, because he's trying to bring a lot of balls to his hole in one shot. He really is trying to do a lot, but. Uh, if he catches the other side of the six there, then um, it's it's a great shot. But he he hit the six full, you know, and so. But I oh wow he's going he's not going to bank. Well, wow, there, he's there's there's here. a th there's a thought here. Uh, I see it. Gabe I see needs it. three balls, and uh, if he shoots his twelve ball, he's you know, 
He, he doesn't have a great shot on the 15. I think that's a 15 ball. No, that's not the 15. That's an 11 ball, I guess. Yeah, I still think I would shoot the 12 here. I shoot the 12 and bank the uh, 12. Uh, shoot the 12 and bank the 13. That's what that is. It's 13 ball. No, my shot would have been wrong, wouldn't it? Well, you know, because now he can win the game. Now he now he's in the game to win. So that was a great shot. I didn't, you know, this table really isn't sliding that bad as far as the rails. They're not. Uh, normally on like a gold crown, when you hit below the side pocket there, <laughs> it slides. Mm. Yeah, but these rails are a little springier, so. Okay, now Gabe's starting to come alive now. There we go. Now we got a match. Okay, so, yeah, that was a nice out, really. I mean, that was a gutsy shot on the on the 11 ball there, and and uh, he got good position on the six. Mm -hmm. That you know, it was a nice shot. It was seeing a little better play out, of maybe, maybe, maybe out of the players. Maybe they're getting used to the table conditions, and uh, you know, maybe we'll start seeing uh, some better play all overall. I'm smelling those uh, ham and eggs a little bit more now. Yeah, my, my throat's getting a little tight. Uh-oh, well, just as soon as I said that. Oh, man. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, I think uh, maybe. I think I'll have those eggs uh, over medium, please. <laughs> oh, man, that scrambled my thoughts there. <laughs> scrambled me. What's he going to can he bust up the stack here? Because I, I know, don't know he about wants this to. rack here now. They, what about that? that? Those balls broke off a little. <laughs> they broke off a little too easy. Oh yeah, sure, sure. Look at this. Eleven ball bust up. Four more balls. Katie bar the door. Okay, well that's that was quite a break from Scott. May I have a extra side order of sausage, please? Maybe uh, some bacon thrown in and a little orange juice. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be frosty orange juice. <laughs> frosty uh, the snowman. Oh. Well, you, hey, you can you can hold a tune there. I didn't know that. <laughs> I don't think I'll quit my day job. Uh, well, wait a minute. I'm working on the day job. Okay. So maybe I can sing. All right. Well, I, uh, I, I, yeah, 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 just yeah, when yeah, I yeah. just when I thought uh, the, this uh, game was over and uh, Scott was going to take the hill, he uh, he lets up. No, he didn't let up on the stroke. He just didn't. Uh, the cue ball over rotated and he m missed out on the six shape. He's a little disappointed in this, but. I'd leave that uh, one for. I'd, I'd leave those two balls alone. I ran into them anyway. Before they were positioned so that the only person that could make them was Scott. Well, this looks a little. This looks a little desolate here for for Gabe. It's, it's not looking too good. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, the score is seven to zero. For one thing, the balls are down here below the side, so. Well, and I'll tell you, he fights for each shot. Gabe does. He really does. He's got. A, he's relentless. He, he really. He doesn't ever have any. He sometimes in his body language, it looks a little like. He's, Look at this. He's going for the three ball. Yep, he is. No, I don't I, like that I shot. Go. No. You know, the shot does. You know, Ronnie Allen always used to say, "When you're ahead, play like a coward. When you're behind, play like a lion." You know? <laughs> and I just thought that was a good analogy of one pocket. Yeah. And uh, that's who taught me uh, <laughs> to play one pocket. Is and, that right, Ronnie Allen? No, little Don taught me, but the uh, uh, guy from Springfield. But he grew up watching Ronnie Allen, and he's had nothing but great things to say about Ronnie Allen's one pocket in the 60s and 70s. <laughs> and that was one of Ronnie Allen's main lines, you know. I like it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, that's. My, my, my Joey A's line is uh, get ahead, stay ahead. Yeah, get ahead, stay ahead, yeah. Okay, well, he wants to stay ahead of this seven, meaning above it, and then he can <laughs> drop down to the three. I don't think he quite got the angle there to get down to the three. Well, he could easily cross bank the uh, three if he so desired. If, if he can't get a you know a good bank on it. Oh no, he, he stunned, stunned, stunned yeah, it, stunned it perfectly. Beautiful shot. 
Yeah. Yeah, Gabe's, his play's starting to pick up a little bit. Does he draw a follow on this shot? Hmm. Well, I guess we know that. It's a draw shot. I see there's people on here worrying about you, Joey. Well, that's huh? worrying is a, I, I think, you know what, worrying is a major cause of disease, possibly. I'm, 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 I'm missed their, their worry. They, they seem like they're worried about you. My, Anything my to deviate from the game, right? <laughs> I think they're worried that, I don't know what they're worried about. Oh, position, looky here. Like I said, Gabe fights for every shot. Good shot. Wow, we're not, a, this game's not over, Joey. Looky here. He's made a bank, and now he's got position on these two balls. Well, that'd be a, that'd be Wouldn't great. Wouldn't this be uh, something if it comes down to the final ball? You know, that may be what happens. The play is going to end up picking up here as the, you know, it looks to me like. Uh, yep. And Gabe has not given up. Like I say, he is relentless. I wonder his mom watches these matches. I wonder if she ever just she she she'll, on she'll, pins and needles. Yeah, she'll watch she'll watch a live stream. Uh, Gabe's mom is always on the uh, internet forums. A real classy lady yeah. and uh, you know a big supporter, of course, of her baby boy. Boing. And uh, but uh, I, I think I've read a couple of times that uh, she doesn't like. Uh, come to the tournaments uh, because you know she gets a little antsy yeah that's the way my mom was when she watched me play yeah uh, yeah uh, i think uh, gabe's dad does come to the tournaments and support him and uh, right so I, I i i i don't think i've ever met uh, gabe's dad uh, oh, i think yeah, i've bob. seen bob bob yeah he's okay. a cue maker he makes uh he's a great cue maker oh okay mm -hmm. shirts cues um uh, i don't know I think I think that's what he made. He worked. He may he may have gone out on his own, but his dad's a cue maker. I know that. Oh, okay. Well, I think uh, Gabe just needs to knock this uh, to the other side of the table, not leaving Scott a two rail bank off that far rail. Oh, uh, not good. This is no. It's okay. Not, it's okay. Not good. By the hair of his chinny chin. He yeah. said, "I'm safe. Safe." <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's Gabe showing a little bit of humanity there. He's smiling. He's starting to have a little fun. At, you know, when you're like that, too, that's a smart move to not be so serious all the time. And just, you know, and that, that comes with experience. Um, and, and he has that, he's, like I said, he has that fun-loving way about him. And I think that's a, a really smart thing to do every now and then, just to, just to look up at someone in the sign of relief and just kind of use that as an outlet. You think that uh, relaxes the player? It takes a little tension out of the well, body? Is, yeah, as long as he... Now, he's coming out with a good roll here, you know. That could have been a lot worse. This ball won't bank. It won't really, even, on this, even on this slippery cloth, it won't go it'll quite drop down. Right, you were, Danny. Yep. Well, not always. That's for darn sure. Well, you were right on that shot. With the score three to two in favor of uh, Scott Frost, uh, Gabe could tie up this match uh, three to three. But first, he's got to make see, sure. See, I'm learning shots here. I'm learning shots here. This is a that is a shot that I'm learning. I, I would have come blind. I'll probably come behind that ball, and that's twice I've seen J Gabe shoot that. And you're going to make that your own now. I'm going I'm, in your I'm arsenal. I'm going to investigate the shot. I, I'm going to. You know, I like it because mm -hmm. it leaves no bank, and uh, right. you don't have to worry about coming in behind it, and possibly, it's a better shot than, but I haven't quite, I've never seen that. Have you seen that shot uh, before? That's a common shot. Yeah, I, I, I think I've seen it a time or two. <laughs> I, 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 I don't play it regularly, but... Uh, but he seems yeah. to shoot it with, I mean, he's turning both of those cue ball and the object ball loose there with that shot. So. Well, they... Turn him loose. I don't know about. I don't know if I'd agree with that uh, entirely, Danny. Uh, if he hits it a little harder, though, he leaves a shot. You know, the speed's got to be good. But yeah, the speed was good two times that he shot it, right? Yeah, it was. And that's a pretty good shot. Yeah, he's left it on the head rail. Almost well, he's really made a comeback cushion. here, being down seven to zero. Like I said, those balls below the side pocket, and it did. It did make for a quick run, didn't it? I mean, down seven to zero in the beginning of this game. I think uh, 
Gabe's going to play a, a, you know, a, a real conservative uh, safety here and just knock it to his side of the table. Hmm. I, like so. Yeah, yeah, I don't think you want to leave this two-railer here. Yeah, he wanted to leave that cross bank by maybe. the side. So going to cross bank this? Yeah, he crossed it. Oh, and not only did he cross bank it, he hit it really, really good. Yeah, you got to... Man, I think he was trying to put that 14 over there by the side where he couldn't where he can do that, right? That's yeah. right. Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm familiar with that, but... Um, does, he, does he kick at the foot rail on this shot? Yeah. Yeah, he kicks in behind the... Trying to make a full hit on it. Knock it on his side of the table and not leave uh, Scott Frost a bank. He can't, he can't hit the... He, no, he can't hit the rail first. The side rail. Don't tell me that. No, oh, he's coming in behind it. He's coming in behind it. Uh, oh, wow. Okay. Wow, what a great shot. I, I would have thought there was a kiss there. Mm -hmm. Man, you know well, how, he you he know didn't how try, close. He Maybe didn't try to make it. He, I don't know he, if you know how close that kiss was. Maybe you do. Hmm. Did you see that? Wow. Now, this is, a, this, is a, this is not a good shot. Gabe can make this ball. Well, he's got to he's got to turn the cue ball loose, though. There is a possible scratch in that top right hand corner, isn't there? Well, you know, it's easy enough to dig down and uh, hit this uh, 14 ball a little fat, and mm -hmm. with the English right. and dig into the cushion and go for that uh, second diamond on the uh, far end of the table. Now, does he want to overcut it if he misses it just a little bit, maybe? Well, he wants to control that cue ball, and like you said, keep from scratching. And he does. He's got uh, enough. See, he went to that second yeah. diamond. Yeah. Yeah, this is fine. He, he won't have anything real aggressive from here. He can, he can make this ball. Oh, man, I thought that was dangerous. It was. It was. <laughs> you got a fortunate <laughs> see, roll. See, they're just aggressive. They play aggressive, you know. Just gave Scott the that turned over the offense to Scott, I think. Now, this ought to be a, a shot that uh, Scott can make fairly well. Mm hmm. He loaded it up, didn't he? Well, the keeping the cue ball separated from the uh, object ball, which is a good thing uh, when you're turning the table over to your opponent. I like that shot. Simple. Simple. When you're in a bad spot, do something. Words of wisdom. No, that's a very nice shot. Mm -hmm. a, a lot of players might have shot it down past the side pocket and accident, you know, and and forgot about that two rail cross bank that uh, Scott had a while ago. Well, that really put. You know, like I said, even in the, there it is again, even in a, he's playing safe and it just looks so aggressive. Because now Gabe's forced to make this ball. Oh, yeah. He's oh, going to yeah. have to float that cue ball down to the other end of the table. Well, that was a powerful shot, that safety there. Just, it's, it's just powerful, wasn't it? He's got, he's, he's got to put the cue ball on the back rail and just let Scott take a, you know, if the table's leaning a little bit, I put, I, I'll let him shoot it off that back rail. Yeah. Well, they're playing in pocket now. Oh, different. But he leaves a cross bank on this uh, ball. He can easily well, Scott's licking shoot his, at this. He's licking his chops here. He's he's happy to have a shot here. Mm-hmm. I no, don't think that's that hard one, enough. That that's one's not going. Oh, he does have good feet on it. Wow. I didn't think that ball was going to go that far. I really didn't. I, I, I thought it was going towards the pocket, and, and, and I think I think the table is leaning out. I'm, I'm pretty sure of it now. Yeah, it's coming out a little bit. 
Well, that's that's going to be to Gabe's advantage, but I'll tell you what, meanwhile, he's in a tough spot right here. We're going to get the mechanics out to take a look at this table and uh, oh, oh wow. look at this. Just when he had a chance to get back oh. into this match, uh, he, you know, he played, they, 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 they played, uh, you know, conservatively here. Well, that was a four to three games break. Wait a minute. Four no. to three. Four, four to, to three. Two. Is four to two. Four to two, right? Four to two. Uh, I don't think so. I think the score is four to two. Oh, is it? Is it four to two? We could be wrong. We thought the score was three to two, uh, Scott. Right. Is what we thought. Okay. Well, we who, might who, broke, who broke first? That's that Scott Frost broke first. Okay. Guarantee. Well, all right. It is four to three, isn't it? Let's see. Wait a minute. Well, let's see. This would be an even game. This would be game number eight. <clears throat> That's right. So it is four to three. Let's see. One, two. It, yeah, this has to be an even game. This has to be 4-3. Um, well, I just, the game, some of them have or gone so quick. We know it's, some of the games have gone so quick here. I, you know, Scott's mm -hmm. play is quick, and I'm not, I'm not. Uh, well, we don't have our statisticians uh, with <laughs> us today. Uh, we had a we had ProPool.com with us. and uh, Okay, here comes a three-cushion billiard shot, and he's shooting it. Oh, wow. What, looky here, Joey. Looky here. What a beautiful execution that was. Very, very, very nice. nice shot. Well, uh, Gabe uh, starts to think about how to get out of this. I just want to take a few moments to thank some of our sponsors uh, that have provided this uh, free stream to uh, all of the Internet viewers out there. Uh, Predator Cues, Poison Cues, Aramith Pool Balls, Simona's Claw. Ashley Furniture, a non-billiard sponsor. Great to have them on board. Hertz Rent-A-Car, Inside Pool Magazine, Radio One, The Billiard Factory, and of course ProPool.com, Ron Hoffman, Bob McFerrin, and Mike Moon. Uh, we'd, we really appreciate uh, our, our internet uh, audience out there contacting our sponsors from time to time and if you're so inclined, you know, drop them a little email and let them know that you appreciate them uh, sponsoring these uh, free stream live streams. And, you know, if you have uh, some uh, ready funds and you're looking for a product, check out some of these great sponsors and consider their products uh, before you uh, spend your dollars. Thanks again. Uh, we appreciate uh, all of these fine sponsors. So what do we have here, Danny? Uh, any score? Any balls made? No, it's open game here. They're both... This, just as I thought, the level of play is going up. They're both playing much better now. Yeah, the score is four to three, right? In the match. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, uh, if this table is leaning a little bit, you know, you 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 run a lot of risk uh, floating the cue ball down the tra down the table, especially at eight and nine foot lengths. Gabe's looking at this 15 ball. Oh, good shot. Well, Gabe didn't allow the cue ball or the object ball to float off on that shot. He shot that shot a very, uh, very firm, quick speed. It's like I said, Joey, he doesn't give up, does he? No, he's uh, he's tenacious. There's no doubt about that, but that's what makes him a great player. Mm -hmm. How much slide we're going to get here? Not enough to keep but that ball out the pocket. Little combo, no. He can't, uh, he can't shoot it because the cue ball will float out there and give uh, Scott a shot on the four ball. He's going he's gonna to have to figure out something else. Maybe hit the five into the one, ten into the nine, freeze the cue ball on the six ball, something like that. But he's on the, frozen on the rail. It's not, it's, this is not an easy shot. 
Maybe just get that one ball, make the 5-1 combo and get the one ball to the side rail and freeze the queue on the uh, six ball. Hmm. Well, that's, a, that's a pretty powerful a good location. shot. Yeah. yeah, that's a powerful shot there. Yeah, you're going to see a lot of them from this young guy. He's, he knows the game. He's, he knows the game. That's oh, a, that was really, really a risky shot. But you know what? It looks to me like he take calculated risks, Joey. <laughs> yeah. That was, you know, he, what, I liked, what I liked about that shot that he did is, uh, you know, it, he's taken care of the problem of the table uh, lean and uh, he shot with a quick pace, and that way he didn't have to worry about the cue ball rolling off. Oh. With the score 4-3, Gabe's leading this uh, game 4-0. to zero. He's got a chance to uh, tie this up, and uh, both of them uh, would be on the hill. We call that Hill Hill. Well, I hope it does go Hill Hill, because my, let's see, my player will have the break. No? Who will have the last break? Scott will have the last break, because... Yeah, my player. Your player will. Right. So it needs to go. It's got to go Hill Hill. Well. That's right. I don't really have any. It won't. I won't lose any sleep either way. Either. But uh, I'll tell you what. Scott made a beautiful shot to get out of Gabe's break in the beginning of this rack. He really did. Mm-hmm. Okay. He's going to shoot. And he's going to make it. There's that offense coming up. Yeah, there's that offensive Scott Frost. Yeah, I think uh, Scott's going to try and uh, run into these balls in some manner. Uh, the the uh, 10 ball, the 12 ball, and the 14. Oh, that shot may Shake have won the game bit. right there. Try and go underneath the bottom of the 14. No, he's picked another couple of balls. Oh, to run into. jacked up. He banged his knee on something. Maybe shooting the seven ball here. I think he banged his knee up on shooting. Uh, it looks like his knee's probably. There's a coin op thing down there. I don't like shooting this eight ball. I'd, I'd shoot the seven ball. Really? Yeah. Oh, I would not. I would shoot the eight over the seven all day. Uh, what's the name? Oh, maybe he can bank the 14. Yeah, he can come back up for the seven, see? Yeah. Yeah, he managed it. You're right. Good call, Danny. Well, I don't know. The rails are springy. Thank you. Yeah, he is the favorite from here, I think. Uh, he'll play p for the two here, won't he? After the 11. Oh, yeah. That's too hard. No, it didn't. It's perfect. Uh, it's a little hard. He's going to try and knock that nine over on the other side of the table on his side. Give him another shot, maybe run into those balls like that. I know he didn't get a reward off of that. That's really unlucky. See, okay, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So he's got six. We've got a score of six to four, and Scott Frost is winning. No, five to four. I'm sorry. A little two railer, maybe? Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. No, that's right. Six to four, correct? Is that right, Joey? Six yeah. to four. That's right. Scott Frost. Yeah, there's five balls left on the table. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is turning out to be a pretty good match. You know, I, I, I think it, they will want to, uh, you know, level the table after this, but the, the level of play is going up a little bit now. You know, when you're playing real good, you, you're not l slow rolling a lot of balls anyway. You know, you're hitting balls with confidence and. I mean, they're, they are going to want to level the table, but... Mm-hmm. I'm sure they will, too. This isn't any good. Sometimes that offense makes you kind of... 
And well, Scott, uh, Scott's uh, two balls away from uh, winning the match. Yep. He's on the hill. It's a race to five. Two balls, and we've got breakfast. And there it is. That'll do it. I'll enjoy doing commentary with you, Joy. Danny, uh, it's been a pleasure, uh, and I hope that uh, we'll have an opportunity uh, for you to sit in the booth with me again in the future, and uh, maybe we'll have one of these uh, ten ball matches, or uh, maybe even t tomorrow. We'll see how it goes and uh, how your schedule goes. And uh, we thank you. We appreciate your time in the booth, and thanks everyone for uh, visiting with us. And I hope that uh, tomorrow at 6 p.m. Uh, Central Standard Time, you'll drop in for the semifinals of the One Pocket uh, Championship. And uh, I think uh, the, uh, the, the finals championship uh, between Shannon Dalton and the winner of the semifinals match, which is Cliff Joyner and Efren Reyes, uh, will play Shannon Dalton at 9 p.m. I think that's the number that uh, we've got right now. And, uh, but everything's happening tomorrow. It's Thursday. And uh, we hope that you'll join us uh, tomorrow. And uh, thank you and good night. Uh, we've got a, uh, another interview coming in here uh, with the uh, players. And uh, that will be coming up uh, shortly. All righty. All right, Danny. Thanks and good night to all. Yeah, they were just as, as people. Christina Delagarza here with Scott Frost, who just defeated Gabe Owen in our $4,000 challenge match, one pocket, race to five. Um, congratulations. Thanks. I appreciate it. I don't know what to say. I'm tired. We both had matches all morning because we were still in the pro eight ball. We're exhausted. I'm exhausted. I can barely even see the balls. That's. Uh, it was kind of a sloppy match, but I'm happy I won. Yeah, you played great. I was, I was just going to ask you about the format in the other tournaments. I hear you guys are playing sometimes like five matches a day yesterday and today. And that, did that, Do you think that played into Gabe playing as well? Yeah, we were both exhausted. The first day we played two rounds. Then yesterday we played five rounds uh, starting at 10 in the morning. And then today starting at 10 in the morning, uh, three rounds, four rounds, sorry, plus this. So uh, there's no time to sleep. I'm just exhausted and worn out. And i got to play at 10 in the morning again. But it's a great tournament. I'm happy to be here. So Great. Um, I know you guys uh, have a little bit different styles of play. You seem to be a little more offensive and aggressive. And Gabe kind of takes his time. And I, I think you seem to kind of throw him off his rhythm. Do you, did you notice that? Or do you think that played a big part in your win here? Um, Probably. He knows I'm really aggressive. Uh, I don't really know. He, he told me before we started that he was going to go for his hole, too. So uh, <laughs> that's the way it goes. All right. Have you guys matched up several times before? And I know you guys see each other at lots of tournaments. What's your, what's your track record against him? We kind of grew up together. Uh, we started out playing each other when we were little kids, like, well, kids, 16. So we played each other every month. Then we went on the road together, then we bet with each other, then we played each other a few times. I can't even remember how we came out, but it's always close. Uh, um, and then we haven't played each other in the last seven years. Well, you said, are you still in the eight ball? No, I got beat out by Dennis Orcolo today. I'm sorry, what, what place did you end up? <laughs> 13 through 16th, I think. Well, what about the 10 ball? Are you still going strong in that? Yeah, I just won my first match against Sean Putnam, so... Good luck in the rest of the tournament. Congratulations on your win tonight, and hopefully we'll see you out here on the TV table again. Thanks, Christina. I appreciate it. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Are there any sponsors you want to plug? Colby's Corner Pocket and On the Rail TV. <laughs> on the Rail TV. Great. Uh, thanks for joining us, guys. We'll be back tomorrow at 1 o'clock with um, some 8-ball or 10-ball matches. Thanks. <laughs> Get some sleep, man. We'll see you. Yeah. Good, Good job, guys. This is freaking me out because she just scanned these. And look at that.
How the fuck could you just scan that? Wait a minute. Oh, no, we initialed it when we set it up. We checked it off, basically. Got screwed up there.